high in the Blue Ridge Mountains. There's new blood hard at work on Turtle Island. 19-year-old North Carolina native Raleigh Avery has come on board to help keep the preserve running. I've always been one to love nature, get out in the woods, use my hands. Raleigh's bringing some mountain skills to the table. I know it's going to be different and a whole lot of work, but I'm looking forward to learning and growing and having Eustace as a mentor. But he's got big shoes to fill here on Eustace Conway's turf. Good boys. My good friend Preston has helped me out here for over 30 years, and after he died, it's been really hard to find good help. I'm going to need some help taking care of the horses, sawmilling, just a million little things always needing to be done. Raleigh pays attention, he's motivated, and hopefully he can do it. So he knows blacksmithing, and he's helped me do a little sawmilling. Raleigh knows a lot of stuff, but he's got a whole lot more to learn, and I'm excited about teaching him. And Raleigh couldn't have arrived at a better time. Last winter, Eustace put a down payment on an expansion, 90 acres of forest right next door. We've got a lot of land we need to cover. I've got a new piece of land up here. Now he needs Raleigh's muscle to make the land productive and pull enough logs to raise the loan payment that's due in the spring or risk losing the investment. Right now I need some cash and we're gonna go look at some timber, look at the new track of the land and sort of assess what we've got here that we can use. The goal is to get the new land to pay for itself. And so far, the prospects are good. When they're straight, they make good timber. And see, see how that fork's right at the base there? I see it. And that's leaning. Someday, in some ice storm, that's going to get so heavy, it's going to split and fall. We harvest it now. We harvest it on our terms. You see what I mean? Yeah. I believe we could pay my debt just by taking the cold trees off of this land right here. Wow. Just the low quality trees. And we can harvest all this, but at the same time, we, uh, we know we got this preserved. We can keep it natural and healthy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm glad you get this stuff. Well, let's head on up the holler and see what we got. Some nice hemlocks around. Yeah, some of them are dead already, but there's a few still living. Hey! What? Look at this. My gosh. Is that a moonshine still? Yeah, I can't have this. The discovery of an illegal still puts Eustace in a bind. I don't mind a man moonshine if he wants to do it on his own land, but it's, uh, it's pretty alarming to have somebody like working on my land that's not invited. Moonshining is an Appalachian tradition dating back more than 200 years. Today, it still thrives in the mountains, but distillers have to go deep off the grid to evade the law. That's not terribly old. That hasn't even been rained on. Well, who could have been doing this? I have no idea. I just need to make sure they don't come back and do it again. And they need to know. They just can't come over here and make liquor. I got an idea to send them a message. What's that? Blowing up this moonshine still. <laughs> My nature is to salvage it, but I believe Raleigh's idea of blowing up the steel will certainly send a message to whoever brought it down here. He's having fun with the idea, like, let's just run with it. Let's do it. So the bullet explodes it? Right. We use a high-powered rifle to set this thing off. Think we'll be able to make that shot from the ridge up there? You're shooting. <laughs> what do you think? I got it. All right. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, let's get up there and do it. Goodbye, steel. There it is right there. Let's grab that stump. We can roll it up here, too. That's a good plan. One, two. Don't let it go. Thank you. <laughs> you weren't kidding, that's a ball. <laughs> Probably had a pretty good idea sending out a message, so whoever's coming back to it is going to get the point. Well, it's starting to get dark, and it's starting to snow, and we've got quite a few miles to go. Let's head on back. <laughs> <laughs> 